I'm in Vegas right now. Actually, we just rolled up to the Mint 400 race course. And yes, I mean that Mint 400. Some circles. The Mint 400 is a far, far better thing than the Super Bowl. Now, unlike Contrast Thompson, I don't have any ether in the back of this vehicle, but I'm nonetheless very excited because I'm gonna get to ride along with the legendary Rob McCochran. Rob is the only off-roader in history to have three consecutive Borg Warner trophies, and he's won the Baja 1000 four times, three of which were consecutive in 2014, 2015, and 2016. He's in the Off-Road Hall of Fame. He's been doing this stuff for 36 years, and he's amassed well over 200 wins, so I know I'm in good hands. So we'll check out the car and see what Rob has to say about it. This is a, this is a pre-runner truck, so this isn't like your trophy truck. No, no. Yeah, this is a pre-runner when a three-seat Alumacraft buggy has about 450 horsepower, has a 37-inch tall BF Goodrich tires, um, has electric ice chest, um, has a, we had a, up in the roof rack, we carry tools, parts, uh, stuff like that. Uh, I think there's a hammock in here too, so if we're ever along the beach in Baja, we can pull the hammock out and take a siesta. All right, cool. Well, without further ado, I guess we're gonna let Rob show us, uh, show us around his playground. Rob's pre-runner truck has 21 inches of suspension travel. Seems like a lot, but Rob makes use of every single one. You get a sense of it here, but it almost feels surreal in person. It's smooth, relatively. In literal terms, I've never had to strap myself in so tightly. Anything less than suffocation levels with the harness and you feel like ice in a cocktail shaker. That's due in part to the powertrain. It's an LS6 putting down 450 horsepower more than enough to get this little buggy moving. All that power actually makes its way through the rear wheels exclusively, no all-wheel drive to add complexity or weight. The BF Goodrich KM3s don't seem to have any trouble finding grip though, even as they kick up thick clouds of dust behind us. We're going 50 miles an hour just bouncing over terrain most Jeeps would be crawling through, and my brain has a hard time getting over the reflex to brace myself, like we're gonna bottom out on every rock and washout. Rob, of course, remains unperturbed. In addition to being a Baja vet, he's a Vegas local, and we are essentially in his backyard. Rob first tackled the Mint 400 in 1986, but he only just won it this year. He'd had class wins, but his first overall victory was in 2017. This guy kept at it for longer than many racing careers last, all while amassing damn near 300 other off-road victories in the meantime. The Mint 400 is a brutal test bed. And with every new section, you can't help but ponder what it would take to blow these tires, or blow these shocks, or crack a wheel, or bottom out and destroy something mechanically essential. At one point, we pass this Polaris Razor, but not by waiting for them to pull off. Rob just pulls off the road to the left and accelerates past them on even rougher terrain. Obviously, he's showing off a bit, but there's a reason why a tire company would throw their weight behind Rob in a form of racing where every corner could hide a new puncture. He's a consistent variable to tackle a course that's anything but. I hope my GoPro's still on there. <laughs> yep. Awesome. <laughs> oh, oh man. Man. I was getting worried during that pass. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I just got out of the pre-runner truck uh, with Rob McCochran. That was absolutely insane. I've never experienced anything quite like that. Um, I'm actually amazed that I'm not sweating a little bit more, but uh, you know, I knew I was in good hands. Still, you get so overwhelmed by the G-forces going every which way. It's the difference between mountain biking and road biking. It really is. I mean, it's it's a sensory overload and in the best possible way. It, like, it's so much fun. So lucky I got to experience that. I mean, it's enough to make an overnight fan of me, for sure.